Hey guys, Colvin here. Welcome back to another raid video. Calamitous testing him out today on the test server. I wanted to show you this guy because he's built basically for the Hydra. Uh, the, the two mythicals added on the test server are Hydra focused. And uh, I kind of like it. I, I like that they add more options, more good, good champions in the game. Although, okay, mythicals, very hard to get. Um, that they do solid damage, really solid damage. Calamitous, I'll be showcasing him today. With the gear that I have, I tried, I, I really tried to push him on a nine piece Merciless. I just didn't have the ring. I didn't have the ring and I was just, I was saying, damn. Uh, it would have been so much better with that 15% extra chance to get an, uh, the, the extra turn, right? So it would be like a relentless set, plus the reset, plus the ignore defense. It's just a huge set to have. That's why the Cursed City is so crucial to be clearing the bosses all the time. To get more and more and more pieces of the Merciless set so you can start equipping it on everybody. Even the 4-piece bonus, honestly, is, is very good on supports that just have an attack that's maybe like an aoe to reduce the cooldown right because they can do a little bit of damage it doesn't matter they'll get the, they'll get the chance to reduce the um the cooldown of their skill so that in mind let's get started i'll show you guys the gear it's not great it's like barely 5,000 attack and you'll see the damage that he does with this so if you had like a blessing in there if I had better gear, because this attack should have been closer to 6,000, 6,500, I would say, for me to feel comfortable with a 300% crit damage. Um, I, I asked Clarium to give us more ascending um, oils so I can ascend the gear, but they didn't. So I have lots of five star pieces on him, by the way. It's one, two, three, four, five, five star pieces on him, plus accuracy on him even. Although I don't feel like I would need accuracy in him with the team that I would be running. And I'll explain why now that we are getting started. So, um, Calamitous has two forms, obviously, mythical. Let's go over the first form. Uh, has an A1 that hits two times, can restore destroyed max HP and heal. Grants an extra turn if you get a kill, that's cool. A2 quad hitting attack can ignore defense applies block buffs decrease defense weaken decrease speed that is huge for some areas of the game not so much for um i would say let's say the sand devil because you hit four times it's very easy to wake up the boss that's the only way that you can apply um debuffs is when the boss is asleep you can only hit him five times on difficulty on stage 25 so although this sounds great it, it's very easy to wake up the boss and you don't want that but he does apply four debuffs with that skill you still need the accuracy and a3 big AOE attack always critical i don't like this because it's not like i'm gonna build him without any crit raid so i don't i don't understand the always critical part of this one if this was always it will never be like a weak hit that would have completely changed things it would have made him like a half void in terms of the, the skill being available and if you get a kill the unkillable buff uh, is is provided on the champion if he gets two kills he gets an unkillable for two turns instead so there are some usages of this form in terms of maybe soloing some stuff whenever you get a kill but it's not really consistent uh, if you're getting the kills, especially if you're fighting enemies that might be um, susceptible to like weak hits. You're fighting, let's say, magic enemies. You're gonna you're gonna be in trouble if you don't um, if you do a weak hit. Uh, and then the the passive, pretty huge, heals the champion by 50% of their max health at the start of their turn. You can definitely use this for some fun stuff. 50% uh, healing is huge, but he's um, attack base so his health even with everything is 33,000 so you heal for like 15,000 great but you cannot really survive anything uh, with that and that is where his second four comes in that is how I'll be showing his hit him uh, for the video the second form is a good attack after attacking transfers debuffs to the target if the target is under hex before the attack transfers before attacking that is pretty cool against um, enemies such as the torment head so that's where he becomes crucial for fighting in the hydra then we have big a2 aoe attack before attacking cleanses uh, the debuffs and then damage increases for each debuff on the target so the more you have the higher damage you can do like up to 100 percent right will ignore 20 percent of each target's defense if they're under a hex debuff so hex again very crucial and that's why i've built him with a little bit of accuracy nothing too crazy for for at least this showcase and then attacks all enemies before attacking places a hex and a decreased defense i like that but um 
you know, you still need the accuracy. You still need the accuracy for this one. Big attack since it can also ignore the life barrier, which is the big shield that is sometimes applied. Um, that can be crucial sometimes when the when the heads of the Hydra eat a champion, right? When they eat a champion, and sometimes it happens that the life barrier is applied by the head of decay. That can be difficult to get the champion back. But with this one, it's so good. Poison Cloud also, if you don't have a block buffs, uh, Poison Cloud can be annoying. Ally Protection, again, if you don't have any block buffs, can be annoying so since he ignores it in case a block buffs doesn't go through it, it gets resisted something like that he has an attack that can ignore all of that but with the long cooldown four turns that's why i would have loved the nine piece merciless and then a cool passive fully heals this champion every time they kill an enemy under a hex debuff that's cool but again um, not very usable i would say for the hydra also increases the champion's attack by 10% for each enemy under the hex. So against the Hydras, you're probably going to have a 40% boost at all times to your attack. Masteries, I went for Helm Smasher. That's how you go on non-enemy max health champions. Enemy max health champions really get limited on the Hydra nowadays with all these big numbers that we are seeing from big nukers. And uh, the non-enemy max HP champions really are shining right now. So... Let's go to the Hydra. I'll show you guys uh, the, the team that I've made. We're going to go on the hard Hydra so we don't have any issues. I'm using, look at this, EO straight for this one because she has the decrease speed and weaken. So two debuffs guaranteed pretty much at all times because of the build that I have on her. With the Relentless set gets those extra turns through this one. Increase speed, increase attack also helps Calamitous to do more damage. So it helps me already. And then uh, we have lots of debuffs with everybody else. Lots of debuffs. We have a hex, additional way to apply hex with Mishinagi. We have uh, Krisk even to apply decrease defense, decrease attack, decrease speed in case someone else doesn't apply it. Block buffs here from Ugo plus decrease defense. And we also have the Archer who is fantastic for the Hydra. But let's go in there. I want to show you the damage numbers that I can reach. The damage numbers I can reach are stupid are stupid on the the hydra heads when they're down it's just it's uh it's very nice it's very nice to see so uh look at that already we have four debuffs on everybody let's uh let's start getting some buffs on chris because he's gonna be the head of decay tank try to apply the hex there on three targets uh that's all right then we apply provoke wherever we can so two four six debuffs and let's have a look at the a2 here guys a2 um, number of debuffs boosts damage by 10% for each and then we also get increased attack from our passive and then um, We switch forms, okay, and then we also ignore defense uh, at 20% if they have a hex on so these targets are gonna get um, Heavily attacked right now. So let's see boom 200k 300k beautiful beautiful damage numbers and I want to get the head of mischief down pretty much as quickly as possible and see the the real numbers but you see the big huge numbers when calamitous hits um like when multiple he heads are down so there's the uh the stupid debuff there that i wanted to avoid but calamitous will ignore that so we'll actually get a proper hit onto this head by calamitous oh, not that it's gonna kill it but it's still great so look at all those debuffs can even cleanse a little bit here Let's have a look at this. Boom, look at that, 150k. Um, we did attack there, but I'm not, it's still, I still noticed the weak hit. So I'm guessing he still hits, but um, it, it's still, well, it could be a weak hit because of his, um, because of the affinity there, probably. Probably that's what happened. So yeah, provoke there, that can definitely be cleansed. That's all right. Um, I'm not running a revive, am I? Not running a revive here, but it's fine. We should be all right. Let's start hitting on uh, some of these targets. Let's do the. Let's do that. Um, Chris, give me that ally protect. I kind of needed the the reflect is there also. Um, I could have tried to remove it. Didn't go through. Let's see, can we kill that one? Um, I would love to get a leech debuff now. We heal a little bit. Extra turn there, nice boost. And then uh, let's try and get a hit through. There we go, Mishinagi killed that head there. 
Uh, I could do the A, the A2 there, but I'm afraid of the reflect, so I'm just gonna do the A1 there. Let's see, 678k. Then Mishinagi hits back with his own A1, and that was basically uh, 200k on on top of that. So trying to get this head also down. There it is, beautiful. There's my archer hits for like 200k. Still very solid. Apply the weekend there. Then. Um, I wonder if I'm going to kill myself if I attack with this. <laughs> mm, probably I will. That's why I don't want to attack, but let's see. Okay, 1.1 1. 1 .1 million as you saw there. The number of debuffs heavily, heavily affects the damage uh, that I can do here. Heavily affects it. So, let's see. Let's apply the ally protect. We already had 9 turns and 15 million damage. I could put it on auto, but I didn't do the presets let's see the a3 now hitting everybody 800k 700k and just imagine with the six piece merciless this would have been beautiful in terms of overall damage output that you would get out of calamitous right so um i should have the provoke there we go beautiful lots of amazing champions so for hard hydra i know it's a little bit of overkill but uh, just imagine how high you can get the damage through on like uh, 250 turns with this one. So let's see the A2 again against force, uh, not not force against uh, magic, which is weak affinity. Let's see, 1.1, 1.3 there, uh, just amazing. So what you would need against this to do like high damage numbers on nightmare uh, would be like more attack. You would need more attack to really see. A similar damage numbers because even with the defense down even with the ignore defense you have the the nightmare version of the of the hydra heads have a lot of defense so uh it all depends also on your live arena bonuses i have a little bit of live arena bonuses i think it's level eight but uh but still so when the heads have this buff on it, it's very difficult for you to do any real damage so you gotta have to wait when this buff expires because you do 75 percent less damage i believe when that when that buff is on uh the serpents will it's when they come back to life basically that's what happens so um yeah calaminos it, it was a very nice very nice surprise in terms of the damage output i i wasn't feeling it when i was reading his kit because i was thinking all right uh all of this stuff that he ignores the poison cloud on and all that i mean you still have it if you have a block buffs it's it's basically the same thing right if you have a block buffs you you don't have to deal with the poison cloud. You don't have to deal. You have to deal with the life barrier, but you don't. You don't have to deal with the ally protect. So, I was thinking that, but then I once I saw the big numbers and it being an AOE attack, I was like, yes, that is that is what you want out of a mythical, right? And with the higher blessings that you can give him, the higher damage numbers you're gonna see. If you can get a six star crushing rend on him, that's where the big damage numbers come through. Um, and that's where champions like Garol become so good because um, Garol can attack multiple times as a mythical. She becomes just amazing on a six star blessing uh, for the Hydra. So uh, we reached like 30 million on 20 turns, right? Almost. Almost. The cleanse is going to come through here, I believe. Um, I shouldn't try this because I, I probably should try my A1 because this is going to cleanse me, right? Oh, it didn't cleanse me. Okay. Uh, that, that's kind of stupid that it doesn't cleanse you. And yeah, the, the, whew, that was so stupid. That was so stupid um, that it doesn't cleanse you like that. So here, I'll get the real damage output once some of these heads are down. Let me get that one. Let me get the torment so I remove all the... Let's see all the all the true fears the true fears are very annoying there's the hp burn there more debuffs more fun all right let's do ally protect i want to get um i want to get a turn again with calamitous to see all right let's go Let's do the A2 here. Even the Archer doesn't hit that much. Archer is more about utility rather than anything. So let's see. Damage numbers now with 2, 4, 6. I'm not sure if this counts as a debuff, the decapitated one. So extra damage through there. But see. Yeah, 966k. Just 
just what you want really just what you want really out of uh out of a damage dealer like that so let's exit the battle let's end the battle i want to see the the damage tree cup what are we looking at 11.7 million damage on calamitous mishinagi did at 11 million that's mostly because of hex okay mostly because he applies the hex first before calamitous if calamitous was applying it the num damage numbers would be different here but uh you just you you obviously see the numbers throughout the fight on how he was doing millions of damage and with hex that translates to uh well if it's an aoe attack that translates to two percent on the other heads that have the hex on if it's a single target it translates to 10 percent of the damage so very 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 much uh i believe just like a huge damage dealer in terms of overall like a damage dealer for anywhere else like yeah you can use him in some of these areas right um like the dungeons as a damage dealer but really nobody uses anything other than seer nowadays for end game content right so i want to try out his first form since he has like an interesting kit um the aoe attack that he has on the the first form doesn't have such a high multiplier and then the other two attacks are kind of okay um this one's a quad hitting one so i'm not sure how i could understand like its damage numbers so nothing too crazy there with um with the aoe attack on the first form so uh with the defense down weekend with the a2 yeah he hits for about 45k so 200k overall ah could be nice could be nice for i mean for bosses but i think the the second form is where it's at really um the a1 also it's a double hitting one it's not that crazy so the second form is where it's is where he really shines with the ignore defense uh if they have a hex on so you would attack first with the a3 apply the hex look at that almost wiped out the wave and then uh, you go with the a2 big numbers about 250k 270 there and uh, you're ready to go for the next one so the a1 hits very nice although not not that amazing um let's see a3 big numbers <laughs> we, we, we got one shot there by this guy and um i like him i like him i would i would personally only use him for the hydra but again if it's your only mythical you kind of have to just use him uh, anywhere you can especially if you're if you need something like a good damage dealer so um i'm not sure if there's any arena teams i can fight for uh, i can fight maybe maybe this team to try it to try it and see how it goes for for the arenas okay let's go into the arena now i want to see um want to see what we're looking at i want to see what we're looking at with with this combo so we're gonna lock them out if we can yes we do increase attack on us maybe like the first form can be used for for arena battles yes so the, the all the debuffs that you're gonna be applying are risky with all the the sheeps that are available this one um you can get the unkillable and that can be nice or just surviving throughout but i still think that you gotta move on to the next form and then try apply the hex maybe um, and, and yeah that happens <laughs> yeah that, that happens he just uh takes out the whole team with even with duchess and they're reducing the aoe damage taken by uh what is it 25 percent still still very strong very very strong so uh guys that was calamitous showcase i know it's it's uh well it's not stupid showcasing the mythicals it's a very low chance but someone somewhere out there will enjoy using this champion and maybe this video helps him out this was the video guys thank you all i will see you in the next one see ya